This particular work cell is focusing on COVID testing with a primary focus, next-gen sequencing, looking at the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus sequencing, not just a particular sequence, which most conventional frontline amplification of viral genetic material will actually focus. Samples from the patient are processed to isolate the RNA that they could be carrying from the virus. Those samples get inserted into this work cell where the RNA is converted into DNA um, and basically can then be amplified up. Patient samples of the purified RNA come in this plate format where it's 96 samples per plate. The samples in this plate can then be converted into DNA and then through a reaction on a thermocycler that gets amplified up. Worked up sample then gets split into two other plates where a different reagent is added for the next steps of the reaction. The RNA is converted to DNA. Reagents required for that reaction to happen are dispensed with this particular instrument and what is dispensed is called a master mix. The plate itself will then go into a thermocycler where the reaction itself will create the strands of DNA.